what made you want to do something like this? You know, just to give back to the community, you know, show the kids that, you know, you can go to college and play basketball, you can use this to get your education. What do you think something like this means to the kids? I mean, it wasn't too long ago you were in some of their shoes. Oh, it means a lot. You know, I remember going to, like, the Jason Terry camps and, uh, you know, the Steve Kerr's and stuff like that, so I, I had a blast in it, you know, to compete with, uh, you know, other Tucson natives. What's it like for you to come back to Tucson and be able to give back to the community in this way? It's great, um, just because it's my hometown, and, you know, I just I don't want to know, I just don't want them to know that I'm the guy in Tucson. You're going to be training here uh, for the upcoming draft. What's that like, staying in your hometown and, and training, and you're going to be training right in this gym? It's, it's actually fun, you know, I get to be here with my pops and spend, spend quality time with him. And, uh, no, it's, it's just a blast. It's, you know, you feel comfortable being home instead of going out and traveling with other people and stuff like that. I can do it in my own backyard. So what's this like for you? Um, I know you're a high school coach, but being able to not only give back to the community, but also well, uh, spending time with your son. Hey, hey, man, it means a lot to me, man. Just, uh, you know, just remember these guys from being, you know, uh, little guys themselves running around to be able to have them back. Um, working with the other kids and, and getting to teach them some basketball. It's just a great thing. It's just a good feeling as a coach to know that you got sons that, you know, want to be coaches one day also. It's, it's unreal. Him being back, working hard, uh, he's back to his roots. And a lot of times, you know, when you get back to your roots, you get back to those old things that help you be successful. He's back and, uh, you know, the opportunity to get a chance to be in the NBA. It'd be tough to get drafted because, you know, being under six foot, but there, there, there could be an opportunity somewhere for him to fit. You know, TJ McConnell could make it uh, as a great uh, assist guy. I think Lester can too. It wasn't long ago that he was in these guys' shoes at Jason Terry's camps and stuff like that. What's it like for you as a father to see now your son giving back in that kind of way to the community? Oh man, I mean, that's what it's all about. You know, when you tell the kids, uh, you know, when you get an opportunity to, to come back and just give back and pay it forward, that's all you look for. So to see him, uh, you know, doing that and, and, and giving back, it, it, as, as a parent, you, you're very proud of him. I mean, they get to do a Q&A with Lester about junior college, about Division One athletics, about, you know, finishing their degree, about being from, you know, Tucson and finishing their degree. It's, it's just a lot of good uh, points that he can make, being that he was in their shoes and, and, and he's been in their position. What I hope they take away from this is that anybody can get an education. Uh, anybody can make it. That's just not the tallest guy. Uh, he is pretty quick. He is he's a pretty strong guy. But but uh, you can do it. And I think that he's proof that you can get it done. He wasn't a straight A student, but he got it done. And, and that's what it's all about at the end of the day.